Philip Holthuizen. I found a passion for designing and 3D printing footwear. I design shoes myself, I 3D print them here, and then I wear test them. This is a shoe that uh, printed overnight, so this was done this morning. Um, straight off the build plate, as we call it, 3D printing. Um, so I need to do a little bit of processing, but um, this is a wearable shoe. It's, it's flexible, it's all 3D printed. As a product designer, it, it allows me to make my own products. Right? If, if you're ever designing something, you, you, you tend to go to China or to find a factory, somebody who can make it for you. With 3D printing, I don't have to do that anymore. We're not all going to wear 3D printed shoes, but I do think it's... Um, we have this word now, the creator society, and I think what we're doing here with 3D printing footwear, it's a way to liberate a few of those footwear designers. The people who want to do their own designs and potentially sell them because you don't have to go to China where you would have to cough up a lot of upfront budget to actually start a production line. With this you design it in 3D and you can print it for a relatively low cost. There's also a sustainability aspect in that I only make what is ordered or I only make what I need to test. Whereas with almost every other product, we mass produce it somewhere in Asia and then it gets shipped to the other side of the world. That is a great model for relatively cheap products, but it also means that you always tend to overproduce or underproduce. Whereas with 3D printing, you just make exactly what is necessary. You use up all the material, there is no waste, so to speak. And also because you're using thermoplastics, that is a plastic that can be melted and reused, essentially you could reuse the shoes um, indefinitely. Here we have, um, I'll give you an example of a shoe that did work out and a shoe that didn't work out. Um, so this is how I usually make the shoes, I found this to work. And this was a bit of an experiment. So all of this shoe is basically one big lattice or a mesh. Uh, and that makes it very breathable and very flexible. But unfortunately that also means that it, it tended to break a little bit too easily. So this is not something I feel I can sell. I grew up watching a lot of Japanese anime, so there's a lot of science fiction. A lot of those things are very imaginative, very futuristic, and that's still what I'm doing today. So this shoe, for example, with the triangles, of course the triangles, they refer to how things often look in 3D, um, but they also, they could be part of a spacesuit almost. And that is kind of what I want to do. I want to make shoes that are just different enough that they stand out, that they have their own identity. I think my 3D printed shoes, they fall maybe a little bit more towards the high end in the sense that they come for me as a designer. They, they are an expression of what I find interesting, of my background, of what I've, how I grew up, um, and something that I want to give to the world. The way that these shoes are made, ideally made to order and ideally also recyclable, so you'd have to bring them back or send them back somehow, um, it's a whole different consumption model. Um, the way I imagine that is that you would have flagship stores in the bigger cities. People can walk in, they can see all the designs there, they can try on their size. Potentially they can get their feet scanned. Then they can order the shoes they want. And a couple of days later they either get that sent to their home or they can come back to the store and pick them up there.